Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and, um, this time around, I don't really have a whole lot, um, let me, uh, let me intro this video here real quick, this is just gonna be a night walk from Shibuya to, to Shinjuku, it's a Japan walking tour, um, so, with something like this, there's gonna be that chance that, uh, I might get a takedown notice, because apparently... The whoever created this uh, video of, of you know walking through walking through Japan might take issue with it for some reason or another. Um, I've had this happen before. I'll do a I'll do a cast with like a train scooting along in the you know in the middle of winter or something, and I'll get a takedown notice because of that. So you know it's you know it's it's not like I'm showing Cardi B and uh. Cardi B twerking with Justin Bieber or something. You know, I mean, he just, you know, just walk through the forest. You know. But anyway, anyway, let me, uh, let me go ahead and get this going. Oh, and, um, I also forgot to mention, too, that, uh, be because there is that risk with this, with this kind of, uh, with this kind of cast video, um, if you guys like what you see in here, then I highly recommend you guys download it. Um, I, I don't have it with me, but I use uh, I use what's called Y2 Mate, and uh, I think there's a uh, there's also a browser add-on. There's an add-on that you can uh, download YouTube stuff. I forgot the name of it. Um, I'd probably say just uh, Google it, like YouTube download or something like that. Downloader. So, cause I mean, app, cause who knows how long this uh, video is gonna be up. Let me go ahead and get this going. And, um, I need to sound check this. Okay. Not a real big fan of the watermark, but to be fair, it's small, tiny, and it's, it, it's tucked away in a corner and not, like, towards the middle of the damn screen like some of these, some of these content creators do. It pisses me off to no end when they do that. It looks like I am going to have to turn it down a little bit. Okay. And and from time to time, I'll, I'll talk about the video we're looking at, too. So, But basically, whenever I show something like this, I have nothing else. Not going to show any visuals. No, I'm not going to show any killer instinct gameplay or anything like that. It's just going to be me talking. So... One thing that, um, one thing that did happen, uh, yesterday's stream, it didn't go well at all. It just, at some point, at some point while I was streaming Gems of War, I was just getting really pissed. Just getting really crabby. Um, I kind of got called out on it, and I mean, at the time, I'm like, yeah, well, fuck you, man. But, uh, thinking about it later, um, they were on the right, so apologies for being pissed. But, um, and then at some point, at some point when um when I transitioned from Gems of War to Killer Instinct, I started getting chills. Like it was like 76, 77 degrees in my apartment at the time, but all of a sudden it just it felt like it was in the 60s. Like what the hell is going on? You know. So I had a I had to go grab a hoodie, and um grab a hoodie and put on some jogging pants, and finish out my stream doing that. Like what the hell is that all about? You know. So. So, Play Some Killer Instinct, uh, didn't do a whole lot on there, because I'd probably say about an hour in, I just, I began dozing off. So, at that point, I just said, fuck it, killed the stream right then and there. Um, but, yeah, in situations like this, it's one of those where, um, I'm really starting to consider no longer streaming on my work nights. And then even then, um, I'm, al I'm also starting to think about going back to my uh, my old schedule since I'm basically on part-time now. Going to be more on that later, but I'm on part-time now. I'm working three 10-hour shifts, so that leaves uh, four nights off. So, 
I mean, I've, I've said this in other casts before. I mean, I mean, back back in back in the day when I first started streaming, I wouldn't start streaming until like around around six ish, six p.m. And but I'd only be streaming for like an hour, hour and a half. I mean, not really worth. I mean, not really worth it. Just streaming for that short a period of time. So over time, I just started uh, streaming earlier and earlier. You know, so it just you know now it's uh it's two thirty p.m. and uh, usually usually that means I could be uh I could stream for around three hours, typically sometimes more sometimes less. So so yeah I'm I'm starting to consider that again just you know not even bothering uh, doing it on my work nights because again um. I'll I'll talk more about this later, but usually uh I have to be at work by eight PM. So and it just it just you know, finishing up the stream around five, five thirty, and it just really becomes a scramble. Then trying to get my blog post taken care of. Um then trying to you know, and then you know, and then trying to get a nap and trying to get a nap in there. And then some point after that getting ready for work. So maybe, you know, maybe sleeping in longer, you know, that kind of thing. And um, I'm starting to think of um, redoing my my stream schedule for my nights off then. Like um, not start my stream until like until like later on, like around I don't know five. But like I said, this is just um, this is stuff that I'm bandying around, right? Bandying about um, some ideas I'm kicking around. You know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe I wouldn't be, you know, maybe, maybe I wouldn't be so crabby if I could actually sleep in a little long, you know, sleep in a little longer, you know, but like the old saying goes, old habits die hard. I've been uh, streaming this way for almost five years now, so, it's, it's really not going to be something that I could just suddenly do, you know. And that's that's probably something else too. I think I might be burning out on uh, gems of war. You know, it, it just the 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 symptoms, for lack of a better word, are there. I mean, I'm like this. I was like this with other games too. It's just getting to where I get on. It's like, all right, let's get this shit over with. You know, it's one of the reasons why uh, I was starting to transition into an additional game like you know, Killer Instinct, or I've yet to do it, but uh. Guilty Gear Rev 2, you know, just trying to, you know, trying to get something different going. It was also one of the things where, it was also one of the reasons why I only stream pinball, like, once a week now. And even then, it's only, like, maybe, like, a, like a couple hours or something. I used to, back in the day, I used to stream pinball twice a week, and I'd be doing it for, like, five or six hours. So, yeah, that, and, um, Kinda like Gems of War. Um, there. Strictly speaking, it's not an RNG-based game. I mean, it's more physics. It's just gameplay in pinball is so precise that you know you miss time. You know, you flip like a split second too early or late, the ball's not gonna go where you want it to. Not to mention uh, controller lag as well. I began to notice that recently. The moment I push a flipper button. It's like a split second before it actually does it. It's actually caused my ball to drain from time to time. So, so I have a feeling that uh, with with Gems of War, there's a very strong RNG aspect to it too. You know, you could um, you can work, you can kind of work the percentages in your plate in your favor. You know, with the right team composition and all that. Um doing the right match at the right time. You can kind of work it in your favor a little bit, but ultimately, it's still down to the RNG gods. Pinball? Kind of like that, too. And I, and I just remembered, I think I've said something like this in uh, some of my other casts as well. You know, but, I mean, pinball's like that, too. All of your best laid plans can still go to shit. You know? You can do everything you're... So Whoa, 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 let me back up, let me back up. 
Oh wow, they got a they got a Wendy's in Japan. How about that? I mean, I was I mean I was I'm pretty damn sure they have a McDonald's in Japan, but never thought they had a Wendy's. That's pretty interesting. Wonder if they have a KFC here too. I don't see a whole lot of uh, I don't see a whole lot of obese to Japanese people here. Yeah, they got a Burger King. Yeah, they got a Burger King, but no surprises there. So I'm pretty sure there's probably a McDonald's around here somewhere too. Yep, there's Mickey D's, straight ahead. So, but yeah, um, but yeah, basically, um, I think I'm starting to burn out on Gems of War, so I'm looking into something else. Uh, currently, it's just gonna be fighting games of some kind. Uh, recently, it's been a uh, Killer Instinct, but I'm also starting, I'm starting to try out uh, Guilty Gear uh, Rev 2. And yeah, I, I think that's it on that. Um, something else that's happened. Uh, our store, Walmart, we're under new management again. They got a new store manager, and this one here, this guy here, is putting his foot down on overtime. Okay, fine. That's pretty typical, especially right after the, especially after the holidays. They usually put the kibosh on overtime afterwards. Um, but. I, it didn't, it, it doesn't, it didn't surprise me. I mean, we were, we're, we're getting all kinds of help now. Um, we're getting all kinds of new people working on our shift now. So, putting the kibosh on overtime doesn't surprise me because of all the people we have on the payroll. Um, but one thing that, um, I wasn't a real big fan of is, uh, again, I'm on part-time. I'm scheduled from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. But I always come in at eight. I always come. I always come in a couple hours early, just, just to uh, do some prep work. Um, you know, get things set up for uh, when the rest of the people show up at ten. You know, you know that kind of thing. You know, um, just to do the things I wanted to do, the things that I want to do, stuff I can't really do when there's a whole bunch of other employees there. I mean, I mean, no, nothing nefarious or anything, but. We all, um, uh, you know, hell, that's pretty much the same as all the other jobs I've ever been in throughout the years. Just, um, you know, I, I do things different than the next guy. And the next guy does things different from the next guy. And, you know, um, sometimes we cramp each other's styles, you know. I do things that piss off this person here. This person here does things that, does things that piss me off. So, in a situation like that, um, yeah, I'll, I'll come in early just, you know, so we're not interfering with each other. Well, uh, apparently, this um, the store manager, despite the fact that I'm, to my knowledge, it's it's not overtime until you get to your over forty hours and not thirty. Apparently, this new store manager seems to think otherwise. Like if you're um if you're staying past your scheduled time, then he considers it overtime. I'm if I can remember to, I'll look this up, but I don't think it works that way. But, um, I mean, kind of a, I mean, kind of a little niggly nitpick. Um, I had to actually, uh, I had to redo my schedule from 10 to 7 to 8 to 7. I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I guess just to have something on paper, but this seems kind of unnecessary. I mean, I've had this schedule for, at least for about a year now. No one's ever had an issue with it. Oh damn, that's a lot of bikes. It just it just hit me. They got they even got their own they even got vandalism here in Japan. Look at all the graffiti. Yeah. Yeah, they're spray painting graffiti here in Japan. And something else that kind of hit me too. I mean, I, this is this is probably a tourist area, so they probably get a lot of Americans. But yeah, I'm, 
I'm seeing a fair amount of stuff uh, written in English. And I don't, I don't know how old this is, how old this video is, but yeah, it's like, I'm seeing quite a few people here wearing masks. Except for those at the restaurants, but I mean, you kind of need to take the mask off in order to eat. Um, that's gonna do it for me everybody uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good here um, I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say so um, but otherwise thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me everybody I appreciate that and I should be able to do another one at least tomorrow um, which will be the last one for the week so but until then though thanks again for coming by everybody and see you all next time bye for now